Hello, my name is Stefan, I am CTO of Unibright, and today I want to give you a short update of the current state of development of our tools. Yeah, first of all, some, some general comments. Um, if you want to have a closer look at our concept and the idea of the Unibright framework itself, please refer to the white paper presented on our website. And um, if you want to have a deeper dive into the technical details, like uh, which programming languages and frameworks we are using, uh, then please have a look at the tech paper, which is also presented on our website, unibright.io. Yeah, um, concerning, uh, according to our roadmap, um, the current uh, issue of development uh, is the connector, the Unibright connector, which is now you can think of it like the, the back-end uh, part of our framework. And this is um, based on our existing integration platform. Uh, so the, the code base is like 80% uh, ready because it's an up and running product since 2011. And uh, what we are currently doing here is blockchain enhancement. So all uh, so being able to connect to Ethereum, Hyperledger and more blockchain nodes as we are um, from our concept we are uh, blockchain agnostic um, and the second uh, half of the first half of 2018 uh, will be addressing the front-end development of our tools uh, according to our roadmap we want to have this ready by the end of June by the end of Q2 2018 um, yeah but I can show you the current state right now so you get a better idea on how this framework would be used by a customer. Uh, we have three tools here and uh, the process start with a workflow designer. Um, our concept is template based so for different use cases we offer different templates and uh, a part of this template is already a basic workflow. I take the request for quotation template and then you are presented a, a basic workflow um, showing the process on a high level so without any um, technical details that refer to a specific blockchain this is all process based and um, yeah i'm sure you have seen uh, these kind of control flow diagrams uh, before so there's nothing really new about it only um, of course that it's that it's facing a, a smart contract logic so um, what's done here is we have already a UB connector start element. So this is where some data from an external system is passed into the uh, smart contract. This is actually the smart contract logic ending in, in a code logic block here. And here you have different items you can uh, use for the, for the uh, workflow. What's missing here is an uh, end element so that the result of the code logic is again given to a connector. Um, yeah, I can select different items and uh, care about the attributes here. Um, yes, and the current state of development is that we are still having some uh, some issues with a, with a graphical representation and also some logical things to fix like cycling um, references of smart contracts. Uh, but we're quite good in time, I guess. Um, yeah, the smart contract um, logic can be validated here and we also can have a code preview here. Um, our system is blockchain agnostic, but our existing prototype is based on Ethereum. Uh, so we can generate Solidity code here. Um, yeah, just go through it to, to check it, but actually we do not need it here in the workflow designer. Uh, and then we can save um, this workflow for later use. Um, yeah, we go on with the contract lifecycle manager. The contract lifecycle manager has two parts. One part is translating a previously designed workflow into a specific blockchain implementation and also do ma to maintain existing smart contracts. So um, what we do is we open an existing workflow like the one I just created and we connect to a local node of our blockchain. The only one that's presented here is the Ethereum Robson testnet. So I'm um, connected to the local node now. So what I can do now is generate code. Actually the same uh, dialog that I just had for code validation in the workflow designer. And I can continue with the generated code. And um, I can then publish the smart contract uh, to a blockchain. It's compiled, parsed and uh, deployed. 
validated, verified. Now um, the system knows the, the final address of the smart contract and therefore we can continue with configuring the connector. Um, so what it does here is he scans the workflow for all elements that are um, uh, about a start or end point for the UB connector. And then you can uh, choose the system you want to connect. Right now the selection is hard coded to our SAP. Uh, so this is the only option we have right now. What will be presented here later is um, all technical channels you can think of like web services and also um, polling file systems or um, databases. Um, and based on the external system you choose, you are presented external system objects. So in this case, the request for quotation object from the SAP. And we have the workflow objects, which are our representation, our Unibride representation within the process. It's a quotation in and quotation out. And what is still missing here, um, it's all, the button is there, but the front end isn't, uh, is our mapping engine, where you can uh, do like XML transformations with XSLT and XSD files uh, to map one pro um, object from a system, from an external system to our internal object. Uh, this is um, what our connector needs to know how to put data into the um, into the process. Um, and right now, this is also hard coded um, for the case uh, of each template. So um, basically, I cannot do very much here. But this will result in a smart adapter XML I can download and then put into the connector. And what I also can download here after having uh, the connector configured and knowing the address of the smart contract, I can download smart queries, um, also an XML file which holds the information of all connected or all participating systems and smart contracts and can give me a, um, an idea of the current state of the process when used in our explorer, of course, based on the use case and the template. Um, yeah, we come to that later. Okay. Um, this was about publishing uh, the smart contract. I also can maintain existing smart contracts. Um, he scans the the local address for uh, Unibright conformant um, smart contracts that uh, implement the Unibright interface. And then you can uh, choose a certain um, smart contract and then go for uh, setting methods setting data or calling methods and transactions. And the final part is the Explorer. Um, you can open an existing query set that was uh, created before. And basically what he's doing here, he's also holding the connection to the local node and then uh, is showing you um, some smart contracts. Basically this query only shows all smart contracts that, that we published. And if you select one, you get like a graphical representation uh, of the smart contract, um, the current state, and also uh, the transactions that were made. For example, this one is a multi-party approval um, smart contract, so it holds the current state of an approval process. And here we have the different transactions that, that were uh, made to this smart contract. And um, you also can select other smart contracts uh, this is then added to the to the uh, graphical output and if there were any uh, connections between them or transaction you would also see them there um yeah this will be the main focus of the second half of the year to have this this graphical representation um yeah solid and ready and also enable to uh, enter queries in the lower part of the screen like uh, like in a query language uh, close to to what you know from, from SQL, perhaps. Yes, so this gives you an overview of our uh, three front-end based um, components. Uh, and next time we'll do a walkthrough of a complete uh, process where you can also see connecting to, a, um, to an ERP system. Uh, but for now, this is it. And if you want to stay updated on the current state of development, then please, um, get our newsletter, subscribe to our newsletter on Unibright.io or get into our Telegram group. The link is also present on our website. And yeah, I would happy to would be happy to meet you there. Thank you very much. Bye bye.